concerted efforts in stemming the rising cases of teenage pregnancy in the region. Father Sankutu Chibesa of St. Patrick Parish Kibomet says the church must come out strongly and speak against the vice as well as set up protective systems that will ensure girls and shielded, are shielded from sex predators. Father Sunkutu Chibesa says the church has embarked on a mission to tame rising cases of teen pregnancies in Transoya County. The faithful will be visiting schools and communities to create awareness on the vice. In the parish we have a group called Child Protection Group. And that's a group that goes round through all the schools. They are talking about these issues because it's trending now. So they are going round to talk about these issues, to talk to the teachers talk to the students themselves, if possible also talk to the parents during open days, to talk to the parents about these teenage pregnancies. Chibesa said the church has been alarmed by high number of school girls being impregnated by young men, adding that the team will engage schools to scale up an open discussion about it. COVID-19 brought about this issue. Like last year when uh, students were, learners were home, that is what, the result we are seeing them now this year. I think that period was too long. They stayed at home for so long and it caused all these teenage pregnancies. Unakuta wana randa randa kwa sasa hawachukui maanani huyu msichana naye ni mtoto kama mkijana. Na kijana naye pikipiki ukiwa nayo na yataenda kwa barabara asahau masomo. Hiyo ndio shida ambayo ninaona area hii eh, iko site hata mtoto anaweza kutoka shuleni masaya jioni unamkukuta kwa poda na unashindwa sasa darasa amesoma saa ngapi amemaliza saa ngapi ndio akaenda kwa poda at st augustine bondeni secondary school in saboti constituency five pregnant student who sat for last year's kcse exams we are found to have earlier been married off. School principal Eliud Waisaka said high poverty rates in some areas of the county have promoted young girls to sell their bodies in exchange for money. When wanapeana hawa watoto mimba, mara nyingi hawajulikani. Labda ni vijana wa boda boda ama watu wengine lakini wanatoka katika community ambayo wazazi wanajua. Na tukijaribu kufuata na serikali unakuta ya kwamba kijana amepotea kwa sababu tuko karibu na na Mount Elgon Forest na tuko karibu na Uganda na hizi community za Kenya na Uganda ni community moja kwa hivyo unakuta labda mvulana ametorokea Uganda alafu tukifuata tupate uh, apitie kwa sheria inakuwa inakuwa ni changamoto